Sonic's White Games here for part two of the tutorial. This time we'll be adding so much better stuff. This game is gonna go from piece of crap. Let's admit it. This game really, really sucks. It's just getting you started. This is gonna get a bit better with a title screen, working title screen, game over screen, and a scoring system. So let's get started with the title screen. So what you're gonna do is paint a sprite. You need to paint it. Get the bucket tool. Fill. And just type like you can do whatever font you want. I'm doing a scratch font. Type like dodge. And it was dodge the bullets. Let's be real. It's dodge the boxes. Oh. Dodge the boxes. Get that your title. That's all you really need for now. Just kind of make that as a title screen. And let's fix this up here at the title. And the thing with this right is what you want to do. When green flag clicked, show. And you want to get it to go to zero zero so we can't see the background behind it. And actually what we want this ball to do is actually, no, we'll take care of that later. We also want to make one other new sprite. It's going to be the play button. Basically, diamond play button. Cough, cough, YouTube. I need that. But, we're just going to fill it in. Just make it look legit. Just play. Title screen so good, right? And, put that in the center. This one, when green flag clicked, show. And let's get a uh, when this sprite click block. And basically, the point is I'm going to kind of teach you, if you don't already, how to do some broadcast messaging. We're going to put broadcast and then we'll get a new message. Play. Typo. And then we're going to get it to hide so it doesn't stay there. We're also, also going to make it to where this one hides when it receives the message play. Somewhat confusing, you'll get the hang of it. Let's try it. Oh yeah, so good. So the only other problem is we're going to do it to where when the green flag clicked it hides. We're going to switch that. When it receives play it shows. So there's no interference with the title screen. And to bring these codes over, just drag them over the other sprite so you can bring this sprite too. And move that. And we have a title screen. Awesome. Alright, now let's make a game over screen. So... Get the title screen. Let's actually make the title screen game over screen the same sprite. So make sure it switches costume to costume one first. Let's make costume two. Make it foreboding. Saying game over. Game over. Pretty scary. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do another one of those broadcasting sprites. We're gonna go over to here, and when it says if touching ball, first we're gonna want it to broadcast. Take out the stop ball, we're actually gonna do something else. And then make sure it broadcasts something different. Death. It's gonna be serious. So, we we'll go over here, make it when I receive death, switch costume to costume two, go to front, and show. And we're gonna then we're gonna make it stop ball. Boom! Got a game over screen and a title screen. It barely took any time. Boom! Works perfectly. Alright. Last thing we're gonna do for today. Make this game a better game. Oh gosh. The play button did not show up. And to fix that, we're gonna have to get a go to front right there. So we're gonna make a variable actually for the sprite ball. So go to data, click make a variable, and make it score. And we're going to have it show, kind of up here. When the game starts, make it hide, so you don't see it, the title screen. Make when I receive play, show variable score. And we're going to have it be repeat until... Um, touching... Get that sprite. Touching sprite 2, which I forgot to rename, but it doesn't matter, so... It's basically just going to... Pretty basic. Wait one second. Change score by 1. Perfect, right? It's kind of just ticking up there. You see it? When the game over screen shows up, we're gonna do it. It'll say your score, basically. And how we're gonna do that is make it when I receive death, 
make it say score. Or no, wait. This is going to get complicated. Go to operators. Click join. Get the join one. Put score in the second one and say you got this many points. And then it's kind of complicated, but look, it'll say you got this many points. Four. It's pretty fresh. And honestly, I mean, you, oh yeah, you want me to do high scores. High scores. So let's make another variable. High score. It's gonna get complicated. So, let's. And then when I receive death, make it if then one. And say, if, get a greater than. This is getting funky. If score is greater than high score, which means you got more than the high score. Then set high score to score. It's kind of weird, but it also, it makes sense. And then it says, you got a high score. If you guys want to come on my game, oh, that was an accident. Come on this game, get the high score. Sounds good to me. So actually, this game is ready to be shared. It is, it works. It's legitimate. Oh, but we realized something. The game over screen didn't show up, first off. There. So basically, if touching bald and broadcast death, and we're also going to put broadcast death down here to fix that, and we're also going to make an IRC play. Okay. So. Oh! Oh, <laughs> that's some funky glitch. But the score. Oh, yeah. One thing you gotta do at the beginning is set the score to zero. I was so dumb for forgetting that. But now we got the fully operational game that we wanted. So let's, let's play it. Oh, two points. Still high score, though. So basically, make the art better in your game. You probably should have already heard that in the first tutorial, but if you're sneaking past here like a little brat, then make the art better in my game. My game's art sucks. Actually, let's make it look a little better. Let's make it a happy face. <laughs> so droopy. And let's make the box say, like, TNT on it or something. Or like hazardous waste. Oh no, it's not big enough. And then we'll make the backdrop a little bit. You probably watched the first tutorial where we're like, keep it the lime green. The grass looks better that way. So, here's how you share your project. First, go to project page. Save, obviously. Tell people how to do it. So, use left and right. <laughs> Whoops. Right arrow keys to move. Dodge. Oh gosh, I'm bad spelling. Those boxes. Notes and credits. I mean, you can give me credit if you want to. You know, Sonic rules or Sonic swag. Helpful coding. Or you can, I mean, give yourself credit. It's a remix. Go remix that baby. I'll be doing so many more scratch tutorials in the near times. I promise you, you'll be satisfied. Sorry about this long tutorial, I just really wanted to show you what's up. Subscribe <laughs> with this pen. No algebra this time though. But we are going to draw a diagram of an atom. So, protons are the th positive charge. Neutrons, this is in the nucleus here. Neutrons are in the zero charge. And then we got some electrons, like subro, with those negative charge. Hope you learned something. Alright, and then last thing, click share. Oh gosh. Well, okay, I need to minimize that. Click share. And... Oh, share. So, thanks for watching. I approached my 10 minute limit, and now I'm here. Longest video. Bye, bye YouTube.